everyone and welcome to this video tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how you can run Linux from inside of Windows using a program called VirtualBox. To get VirtualBox you can head over to virtualbox.org. Once you get to that page you need to go to the left hand side and click Downloads. Then download whichever version is right for your computer. For me it's the 86 so just click that, it'll bring you to a download page and you can just save that to your desktop. We also need to download Ubuntu, that's the Linux distribution I'll be using in this video. You can just head over to Ubuntu.com, click Get Ubuntu, click Download Now, and you want to choose a desktop version, preferably the latest one. Select a mirror. Then click begin download and a window will pop up and you can just save the file to your desktop. So after you have the two files you need, you need to install VirtualBox. Just click the .msi file. It's straightforward install. It's just at the end it asks you twice to install drivers. Click yes because if you don't it won't work. And if you run it for the first time it should look something like this. It will also ask you to register, but I've already done that. So we now we want to click New. Welcome to the new Virtual Machine Wizard. Just click Next. OS Type, this is Ubuntu. And click the OS Type as Ubuntu, right here. Click Next. You can give this at minimum 256 megabytes. You could probably go a bit lower, but I wouldn't recommend that. It's going to run really slow. I'm going to give it 1 gigabyte, which is 1,024 megabytes. Click Next. You need to create a new hard disk for this. Click Next. You want to pick a dynamically expanding image. This way the operating system thinks it has 30 gigs, but in reality it's only like a 2 gigabyte file. Click Next and you can just call this Ubuntu. I'm going to call it Ubuntu OS because I already have Ubuntu. Click Next and click Finish. Then click Next again, then click Finish. So now you can see that this popped up, popped up over here. We want to click Start. Welcome to the first run wizard. Click Next. CD DVD ROM device and click Image File. Then click this to find that the ISO image of Ubuntu that you just downloaded. Here it is right here for me. Click select, then click next, then click finish. And it'll start booting up into Ubuntu. See? You can click English, because that's my language, as you can probably tell. Now you can press enter, try Ubuntu without any change on your computer, or you can go down here to install Ubuntu. Now it's loading the kernel. That's pretty much all you have to do. The setup of Ubuntu is really straightforward. So thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please comment, rate, and subscribe.